Greetings fellow tank commanders. In this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played in the Kaiju OI. This is a tier 6 Japanese premium heavy tank with standard matchmaking. The game I'm playing is a standard battle on Pacific Island War with tier 7 as the top tier and 2 artillery on each team. My overall game style doesn't change when I'm using the Kaiju OI against tier 7s. Its armor is still quite reliable against many of their guns, but I just make sure to wear down the enemies a little more than usual before making any aggressive pushes. I've switched over to my premium AP rounds at this point. In most situations against tier 7 tanks, you don't need the premium rounds. However, if you can afford it, it's a good idea because it just increases your reliability. And since I always try to be at the front of the line with the Kaiju OI, I don't want to be generous to the enemy and take any damage without returning the favor. And the Kaiju OI has such good silver earning potential that even using premium consumables and premium ammunition, I'm unlikely to lose money in any game. Now dueling fellow OI style tanks I always find an interesting challenge. And here I'm trying to angle my front armor a little bit, because the flat areas of the armor aren't thick enough on this tank to bounce shells from the incredibly reliable 10cm cannon. But sadly it always overexposes your side armor which is extremely weak, and an experienced player like the Kaiju OI I was facing will take advantage of that. You can hide this weakness though by angling around cover. Now this Tiger 1 I'm fighting, he manages to just go straight through the front of my armor. So I'm continuing to take that risk and trying to bait his shots into the angled front armor. At this point I'm regretting moving this far forward so soon, because with that Tiger's incredible 8.8cm cannon, an extremely high rate of fire he would easily be able to shoot me. Fortunately he's now having a little bit of trouble penetrating my armor, and is distracted by my supporting teammate. And here I'm gonna get a chance to finish him off, but look at this shot, it bounces right off his top hull. That's an unlikely sight with premium AP rounds, but it caught his armor in just the wrong way. Now I'm in quite a bad situation here because I only have 89 hit points left. There are still two enemy artillery which could easily splash me to death, and the enemy currently has a three tank lead over us. So this is quite a difficult situation to be in because my teammates need me to still be playing an active role in balancing out the game, but I really have to avoid getting hit by anything. Fortunately I have some really good RNG and am able to snipe the Coppola on that AT7 twice in a row, and it's nice to have another tier 7 out of the way. I've sped this clip up quite a bit here because it is painful driving the Kaiju OI up hills like this. But I'm hoping that'll be worth the climb and that I'll find the enemy artillery unprotected, and clearing them out would really help to even out the game. But turns out they have an almost full health Tiger P back here. Considering how many hit points I currently have, I'm not too happy about this situation. During my long climb up this hill, my team has been performing very well and has taken the advantage in this game. And so when I see the Tiger P shoot, I decide to take the risk. I'm very fortunate here that the enemy Tiger P isn't able to penetrate my front armor. The lower area on this tank is quite strong, and the extra angling that being up on this hill provides for my flat armor up top is making it a little harder for him to penetrate. Now the enemy artillery has just snuck up behind me. If I turn to try to deal with him, the Tiger P will surely be able to destroy me. So I'm taking the risk and charging the Tiger P. Wow, thank you Super Heavy Spall Liner, completely absorbed that shot from the Bishop. Once I realized how fast that tank's reload was, I kept my rear armor to him. Since it is so strong, I didn't want to give him the saw flat armor on my side. It definitely pays off, but that was scary. Surviving two direct hits from an artillery, while only having a few hit points remaining. Now let's check the post game stats and see how I did. For this game I managed to earn 42,000 silver without any multipliers. Remembering that I paid 20,000 for a premium consumable and I used premium ammunition for most of the game. I earned 4,372 experience also without any multipliers. In this game I dealt 4,070 damage, blocked 1,375 damage, and destroyed 5 enemy vehicles. This earned me high caliber, spartan, and unfortunately only a mastery badge first class. But this is such a great tank it's not surprising that the mastery competition is so steep. I placed at the top of my team earning a base XP of 2,242. 
quite a few members on my team also had pretty good games. Their support allowed me to have a really good game while fighting tier 7 tanks, and ultimately claim victory. I managed to hit 16 of my 17 shots and penetrate 15 of those. As always, I am amazed by the reliability of this gun on a super heavy tank. In terms of crew and module damage this game, I destroyed the engine in the Tiger P, damaged the ammunition in the Kaiju OI, and damaged the engine in the Tiger 1. Well that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing another great game with the Kaiju OI. Just remember that even as a higher tier, you should never underestimate this monstrous super heavy tank. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.